So if you're vested in Xbox as a console, strictly a console, then this is probably going to be some good news. So it looks like, you know, Microsoft will probably keep working on consoles and, and keep these things kind of out there because it really doesn't hurt anything at this particular point having, you know, hardware out there. Now, do I think they're going to go all out the way that they have in the past? Like to me, I feel like Microsoft went all out with the Xbox One X, but unfortunately that might have cost them too much and they weren't able to kind of able to get, um, you know, a, a situation where they can have a great console with exclusives as well. Um, so yeah, very interesting to see that. Uh, yeah, I have to kind of question, you know, maybe what the, what the future brings and things like that. But hey, listen, I'm excited by, you know, what some of this has to mean because obviously it means that there's some good things cooking for Xbox and, you know, we're likely to see something sooner rather than later. So I'm excited. I'm sure a lot of you are excited. I can't wait to get into this. Should be a fun video anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Crap Gamer. This is Crap Gamer Reviews. Uh, back with another video. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, share it out, subscribe if you haven't already done so. I do daily video game content, uh, usually a video, sometimes two videos. So yeah, there's that to kind of look at and look forward to. Uh, I try to be entertaining, yet, you know, fun, funny, you know, humorous, whatever. Maybe not. But anyway, according to this, Activision... Uh, since Microsoft bought Activision, they drive 43% jump in Microsoft's quarterly gaming revenue. Yes, I get it. Hardware sales are down, but the fact that they're making so much money with the Activision stuff means that they can afford to dabble in the hardware for a little bit longer. So we'll probably see a situation, um, to be honest with you, where they're going to continue to at least make things for a little while longer anyway. So, you know, like I said, it's going to be interesting to see how all this stuff works out. Um, you know, again, it's going to be interesting. Um, it's, it's just one of those things where I'm kind of looking at this and going, hey, it's kind of crazy to see. But, you know, again, like I said, anything can happen. For the three months ending September 24, gaming revenue was up 43% year over year with all of the growth attributed to uh, the company's Activision of acquisition of, of Activision. So, all their growth was strictly due to the Activision acquisition. So, you know, it's a good buy, but, you know, I, I don't think it's a great buy in terms of for Xbox fans in terms of, you know, the console itself or, or I don't I'm not sure it's going to help push consoles or anything, but we'll see how that goes. While, you know, Xbox hardware revenue did decline 29% year on year, this was more than offset by the 61% increase in content and services revenue, which included 53 points of net impact from its Activision Blizzard acquisition. The company completed its acquisition of Activision Blizzard in October of 23, in process of taking ownership of franchises like Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Diablo, and even Overwatch. While the acquisition has significantly boosted Xbox's earning over the past year, it's true that the true value will become even clearer when Microsoft reports its second quarter earnings in three months' time. Uh, of course, we know Activision released Black Ops 6, became the first Call of Duty title to release on Game Pass at launch, and Microsoft will be hoping that the game drives a significant increase in subscribers. Now, analysts have actually suggested that Black Ops 6 could lead up to between 2 and 4 million new Game Pass subscribers, although it could also just lead to some that are subscribing, um, you know, at the basic level uh, to maybe subscribe to a higher tier or whatever to include Call of Duty. So we'll see how that kind of works out and if that's something that actually comes to pass. So Microsoft could share early sales figure for the game and discuss its impact on Game Pass subscribers during its earning call. Uh, we'll see how that kind of goes. But again, I, you know, I'm not expecting, you know, anything over the the, the rainbow or over the uh, the moon, as it were. You know, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I think honestly, um, they probably won't talk much about what's going on. Um, you know, we'll see how how that kind of. Uh, happens in the future or what exactly can happen in the future but you know again uh, we'll see you know I, like I said I think that it's a it's a it's a maybe a good thing that you know some of these things happen um, the way that they do uh, you know I, I think Microsoft is still in a decent position they could probably do whatever they want in terms of changing uh, direction or whatever because you know at the end of the day 
Sony has screwed up a ton, and with, with Sony screwing up, uh, we kind of live in this weird world where you know I think people would probably take it a little bit easier on um, on Microsoft because at, let's just be real here, um, you know it kind of comes down to how um, you know how 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 all these kind of work out or whatever. But you know again, we'll see what happens. I, I honestly just really wish that Microsoft would you know offer some exclusives, do something like that do something to get people excited about you know kind of what's coming and you know again I, I just feel like they're in a, in a weird sort of holding pattern I feel like with some of this stuff so you know anything can happen um, but again seeing that hey uh, this thanks to Activision they probably will definitely be able to uh, survive and, and continue to make you know things great again you know what i mean like that's that's the hope at the end of the day is that xbox can you know make enough money and originally to be fair when they were buying activision there was never a point where i was like oh yeah um you know that's that's something that i i feel like uh you know they're gonna make that exclusive or anything like that i always really just legitimately thought um, you know, that they were going to use that to continue to fund Xbox. And, you know, again, that could be something that we see in the future. So all their gaming revenue, all that they've grown, right? So their console is stagnant to say the least. But, um, you know, to be honest with you, it just does feel like uh, they're just trying to make some money somewhere since they knew they weren't going to make it in you know direct competition or console sales also it doesn't help that you know various times throughout this generation and, and last they said hey you don't need to buy an xbox you know um honestly i hope that that, that they can actually get out there and, and kind of do something where um you know they can offer great games i you know i want to see the great exclusives again you know i want to see all the stuff that you know microsoft has to offer and you know all the kind of great things that they can do because they're at their best when they're actually competing and you know uh, to be honest with you uh, I feel like that's something that we we need to see again you know that competition was just so awesome you know and you know now it's like at the end of the day we're just kind of looking at this going this is not good you know like <laughs> I, I hope they change things around a little bit um, you know uh, before you know the, before things get too late you know i feel like there are people that are just gonna maybe give up uh, on the hardware at a uh, certain point or a certain aspect you know i don't know uh, I, like i said their refresh wasn't all that great uh you know the white series x it's just pretty much spray painted or whatever um but you know again i i think that it's just one of those things where i i don't really expect them to do much in terms of uh you know something to to really push sony right you know i just i just think that microsoft feels like that nobody wants their hardware and i feel like you know they've kind of accepted that and so that's why like some of this stuff is happening the way that it's happening so you know again uh i don't know what's going to happen in the future but we'll see you know microsoft kind of dictates themselves what's going to happen and you know as fans i do feel like um you know it's up to us to kind of speak our mind but you we also don't want to be stuck in a place where you know gaming is going to um you know destroy what we like about it you know like microsoft has to continue to push forward continue to push the games and things like that and i think then at that point will be in a much better space as fans and they'll be in a much better space if they actually listen to what the fans actually want you know we want great games and great hardware and that's you know they really have to kind of uh get into that and i feel like that's something that they definitely need to do um and and, and again that could really benefit them you know the more consoles they sell the better off they'll be you know the more the more subscriptions they can sell the more games they can sell the more controllers they can sell, the more microtransactions they can sell, right? Like, it's all good if they just believe in it and push it and, and kind of get out there and, and, and let people know, hey, you definitely need to get these this console for such and such reasons, you know what I mean? It just I think it sucks that 
you know, they haven't really done that so far yet. But we'll see. Anyway, I'll link this in the description. Rack them up, fact them up, crap gamer them up. I'll catch you next time. Crap gamer out.